Good morning, loves. How are you guys doing? Uh, okay, I'm always really kind of perky in the morning. I'm sorry if I'm on another level. <laughs> But anyways, so I wanted to make this video just to show you all how to start your day with the Lord. Like how to get your day charged up, ready, amped up, where you are with the Lord and it will carry throughout the rest of the day. Alright? Um, the scripture I do want to use is Matthew 6, 3, 6, 3, excuse me, 6 and 33. Um, where he talks about seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all these things will be added unto you so in the previous scriptures God was telling you what he's done for the lilies and what he's done for the birds he says if I clothe the lilies and I feed the birds how much more will I do for you how much more value are you than the lilies and the birds so I want to help you be able to start your day seeking the kingdom first i start my days anywhere from midnight to 4 a.m in the morning and of course first thing you want to do is make up your bed it definitely helps me stay awake and wake up um, when i make up my bed step two is smile and just tell the lord good morning i talk to the lord the same way i talk to my husband or any other loved one and i'm just grateful that i'm still alive Step three, read your affirmations and burning desire. I have one that's for six months from now, well, from when I first started it, and six years from when I first started it. So definitely incorporate that in your day, speaking life already over your day and over your life. Step four is a given, <coughs> brush your teeth, and then go make you some tea or some coffee to get your day started. I walk into my office and do step five, which is grab my anointing oil, my Bible, and my prayer call, and I go ahead and I anoint myself. I take the anointing oil, and of course, I oil my um, anoint my forehead, and I anoint my chest, and I just thank the Lord. And also, I anoint my hands, and I ask the Lord to bless the work of my hands for today. Then I go into my prayer closet. And either I read like the scriptures that I've been previously reading or daily devotion from like our dailybread.org. I really love those. Um, I put my prayer cloth either over my head, around my neck, or around my waist. And I finish reading the word of God and then I go into prayer. Thank you, Father. I ask that you continue to have your way, Lord God. Lord God, we repent before you. Lord God, we ask that you forgive us, Lord God. Lord God, we fear you, Father. We reverence you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And we cry out before you, Father, asking that you forgive us for our sins, Lord God. Asking that you forgive us for our sins, Lord. Now, when I pray, I pray my prayer language because Satan, he does not understand. He cannot interpret what your prayer language is. Um, and then it opens up and it welcomes the Holy Spirit to bring his presence to where you are. In Acts 2 and 4, it speaks of or it reads, All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. And also in Acts 19 and 6, it reads, When Paul placed his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. If you don't already pray in your prayer language or speak in tongues, then ask the Lord for the desire to do so and just start talking to the Holy Spirit the same way you would to your best friend. It's really all about the heart. If you don't do it with love, then it means God, In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, because we need your presence, Lord God. We can't do it without you, Father God, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. We are nothing without you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I ask that you have your way in our lives, Lord. I ask that you separate us from the wickedness, Lord God. Lord God, separate us from the wickedness, Lord God, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord God, we ask that you forgive us, Lord, again and again and again, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that the work that our Savior has done, Lord, in his cover, Lord God, a multitude of our sins, Lord God, that we are forgiven of all sins in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. So I thank you, Lord. I thank you for your grace and I thank you for your mercy, Father God, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you for how you have blessed me. I thank you for how you have blessed my family. I thank you for you being my God. I thank you that I can always turn 
turn to you, Lord God, that I can stay close to you, Lord God, that I can hold on to your coattail, Lord God, that I can be right there, Lord God, in your presence, Lord God, that I don't forget, Lord God, that I can always acknowledge you, Lord God, no matter where I am, no matter what's going on, no matter what I've done, Lord God, that I can always turn to you, Lord God, that I can always say, God, help me, Father. I can always say, thank you, Lord God. I can always say, Lord God, I know you see the situation. I can always say, Lord, you have your way in my life, Lord God. I pray from 30 minutes to an hour just to spend that time with the Lord. All right, those are my tips there. Hopefully you were able to pick up something to incorporate. Definitely, I truly enjoyed sharing this with you. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. Also, I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your patience with me. I know I was gone for a little while, but I'm back, and, and I'm so excited about all the growth that's happening here at the channel. Y'all, you are my prey and slay babe, so I thank you all again. Make sure to, stu to tune in to the next video, and. And, um, let me know down below what else you want to see. I definitely have a lot more ideas and I'm going to be cranking out more of these videos. So thank you again for tuning in. Peace and love unto you. Let Christ Jesus' mercy and grace be upon you. Peace and love. Love you. Later.